A move to cut the punishment for smoking marijuana in Indiana is on hold tonight. The night beats Emily Longnecker with why you won't see people lighting up soon and not going to jail. Emily? Yeah, John, smoke pot, go to jail. Does the punishment fit, fit the crime? That's a question supporters of decriminalizing marijuana have been asking for a while now. Get it ready for 2014. Make your best case. That's the message Indiana State Senator Mike Young has for Hoosier lawmakers who support decriminalizing pot. I'm certainly not going to take on an issue that's of vital importance like this that could affect our public safety and which does affect our public safety without having all the information on both sides of this issue. A recent proposal by Senator Karen Tallian would mean you'd only get a ticket if caught with two ounces or less of marijuana instead of facing possible jail time. Some high-ranking Hoosiers have said they're not necessarily against it. It's here. It's going to stay. That's an awful lot of victimization that goes with it. Last fall, former Indiana State Police Superintendent Paul Weitzel publicly stated he would legalize marijuana and tax it. Following those statements, the Indiana State Police said Weitzel was speaking philosophically to the state's budget committee. And a Howie DePaul poll conducted last November found that 54% of Hoosiers are in favor or strongly in favor of decriminalizing marijuana, while 37% opposed or strongly opposed doing that. Indiana certainly wouldn't be the first. Two states, Colorado and Washington, have recently legalized marijuana, while 18 others permit the use of medical marijuana. And Senator Young says over the next year he wants to hear from both sides on this issue. He would like scientific data and information about marijuana as well as information about it in the legal system. Emily Longnecker, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.